something different about it for me anyway. That's just me. All right, welcome everyone. This is the, what is this, fourth? The third of November, not rushing things, but this is the third of November and uh, should have looked at the homework. Uh, your homework for today was to try, from last time, is to try and get this uh, flange bearing done. And if you can stay up with these assignments, like when I show you something, uh, go ahead and do that while it's kind of fresh in your in your memory. If you're going back and doing old, you know, things that you've missed in the past that you need to, you've already got late points on, if you've turned it in late, then it's really not helping you very much because you got to go back and kind of watch those videos anyway to remember, but maybe, maybe not. But for me, I like to stay on the fresh stuff and then go back and finish that other thing later on. All right, so we made the flange bearing drawing and it, um, it had a full top down view, a cutting plane and a section view that was flipped up to the, the top view. And in that we learned to draw counter sinks and counter bores. And they're what I call a combination hole. So I put this in here because these are things that you need to know to try and get your drawing as best it can be before you ever look at the check print. If you want to look at the check print, some people are looking at the check print and it's not helping any. They're, they've got evident mistakes because they're just using the original input. They're not using the input sheets that I give you that are marked up. So make sure that you use these input sheets if you can, because I'm going to go through and mark them up and try and remind you guys of some things. All right, going to due dates. Where are they? Uh, due dates calendar right here. <coughs> Pardon me. So your tool, your tool holder and T connector are due by 11.59 p.m. tonight. If you need to uh, check anything, I still have appointments this evening. If you go to um, schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment, you can see that there are a couple spots left in the evening. And if you need a particular appointment, don't hesitate to reach out because this is just something that I propose. It's not something that I have to stick to hard and fast. All right. So that being said, we're going to move on down to our assignments and notice that we have two more assignments. Then we get into our final project. And these assignments are going to take a lot of time, but they are going to be building blocks for your finals. So you really want to, you know, all this is building blocks, things that you'll be using in your finals. So I'm going to go to chapter nine. And we're going to talk about blocks. And blocks are probably the one of the most efficient tools that we can use in AutoCAD. Instead of drawing things over and over or copying pieces of things, we can we can insert an entire block. And so I'm going to go over to the PDF for that, and we're going to talk about that chapter on blocks. If you want to get your book out, let me see where it is. Chapter 9. Chapter 9, right there. And it is starting on page 366, 367. So we're going to be working in our guest cottage with blocks, creating blocks. But there are some very particular, uh, there are some really particular things that you need to know about blocks before you create them. <clears throat> 